Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lecture we are going to discuss the features of the linear system and we are going to demonstrate the response of the linear system. So today's lecture is about response response of the linear system. System. What do we mean by this is the following. We learned previously in the class that there is an entire world of all possible functions. For example, we had a Dirac function, delta t which was like a pulse. We had a step function, which is like a step here. And we had a ramp function and all possible functions in this world. And we can combine these functions as an input. Input. So all of this is an input and we can use our linear system representation that is given by the state space where u is an input function and y is an output and x is a state of the system. Combining input and system here, system, we can obtain the output of the system because this function when applied to the system, the system will be driven by these input functions. And we will use the Laplace transform to transfer this entire world into analog model and signal representation, for example, Laplace transform of Dirac function is just one, Laplace of a uh, step function is one by s, Laplace of ramp function is one by s square. And here for the system, we will have that y of s is equal c s i minus a inverse b u s. We assume that this system has zero initial conditions. Therefore, once we combine these u of s, any of these inputs with a transfer function of the system, this is the g of s, transfer function of the system, we will have that u of s multiplies g of s will provide desired output and then we will structure the output in a certain form such that we can recognize inverse Laplace transform and match terms on the right side to be appropriated functions in the time domain. In this way, this world of integration and differentiation is going to be just substitute with the word of algebra. Here we will just have algebra to work with. Okay, so let us demonstrate this point quickly. Let's assume that we have a state space representation x dot equal a of x plus b u 
and y is equal c x x of t is a vector u of t is a scalar so and y of t is also scalar so we have a single input single output system and if we take Laplace transform of the system of this state space model we will obtain x of s s minus x is 0 Laplace transform will pass through the constant a plus b u of s okay rearranging these terms leads to the following that we have a x of s equal s i minus a inverse x zero plus s i minus a inverse b u of s now y of s is just c multiplies this term entire term so we just let's divide this s i minus a minus 1 x 0 plus c s i minus a inverse b u s okay and here we see that there is an initial condition contribution to the response condition this is initial condition why because there is initial condition here that plays the role in this term here is the initial condition and we have here input contribution to response input contribution because we have here this input here playing the role in this second term so always always we have in the linear time invariant system theory that response contains these two terms initial condition contribution and input contribution okay and now we can see easily that for u of t equal delta t and initial condition given as x0 equals 0 we have that response y of s is just going to be c s i minus a inverse b multiplies 1 this is the Laplace transform of delta t is equal 1 in other words this entire expression is some polynomial n of s p of s and we claim that this polynomial p of s 
which is polynomial of the nth order, the same order as the size of a, n plus 1 s n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 s n minus 2 plus plus a 1 s plus a 0 when equated to 0 can be factored in n factors. So every polynomial can be factored in n factors such that we have that s plus s1, s plus s2, I will put bars here, bars here, s s plus s plus s n are factors of this polynomial so s1 s2 and s n are roots of polynomial P of Z or zeros P of S or zeros of this polynomial. In other words, if you evaluate this polynomial at S1 bar, this polynomial will be zero. Therefore, we claim that this knowledge leads that n of s divided by s plus s1 s plus s n is equal is a0 s plus s1 plus a1 s plus s2 plus plus a n minus 1 s plus s n which tells us that by inverse Laplace transform here. So by inverse Laplace transform that y of t is going to be just a0 e to the minus s 1t plus plus a n minus 1 e to the minus s n of t. So all these coefficients are now nothing but the coefficients that are standing next to some exponential terms and our response is completely determined. So we see that the response is completely determined by the poles of the transfer function. So the response is the mean by poles poles of g of s or we call them 
zeros or p of s polynomial in g of s n of s p of s In the next lecture, we will demonstrate the feature that linear system preserves the nature of the signal that is applied to the linear system.